My name is Håkon Wiem Lee. I'm the CTO of Opera Software. We're a company based in Oslo, Norway. Uh, we make browsers. That's the only thing we do. In 1994, I came to CERN, uh, where the web was invented, and I worked with uh, Sir Tim Berners-Lee there. Um, I saw that one part was missing, and that was uh, style sheets, and that's why I proposed uh, CSS. What are, what are some of the new things that uh, the designers and developers and the users will end up being able to benefit? Yeah, we have many new features coming. Maybe I should show you some on the screen? Yes. Yeah? So most of the stuff people read on the web are shown in one of these fonts. However, there are thousands and thousands of other fonts out there as well that can be used. And by uh, adding web fonts to your style sheets, you know, uh, two lines of code that are shown at the top here, one can start using other uh, designs as well. And here's the angel font. And this is not an image. This is a real font. And I'm using Opera to show this. You can see I can select the text. And that's important for several reasons. It's important for accessibility, so that somebody, a blind person, for example, with a speech synthesizer, can still get to the meaning of this. Uh, it's important for uh, printing when you want to you know, print in high quality. It's important for compression. This is much more compressed representation than uh, a picture uh, will be. Uh, and it's important for doing intelligent things with web content, um, indexing pages, uh, making them available through search engines, etc. So I think this is something that's good for everyone. Uh, and therefore, I expect it to change the face of the web in the next uh, few years. So what are some, other, uh, the, some of the other new things with CSS3? One of my favorite is the backgrounds and borders, especially the border radius property, which allows designers to set uh, a roundedness on the border of uh, a box. And this is something people have been asking for for years now. It's very simple, actually. You set a radius, horizontal, and a vertical. You can, you can create different kinds of uh, uh, expressions, visual expressions, just by, by changing a few numbers. I'm not a designer myself, so this doesn't look that great probably, but it just shows uh, uh, some of the opportunities that are out there. Box shadow is another one. Here you see there's a, a shadow behind this, this box. And this is not, again, it's not an image. It's something that's been added because there's a style rule here. Um, and I can add more parameters to give it a color and to give it some blur. So I can have a, a blurred page, uh, blurred shadow behind the, 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 the box here. And by adding another keyword, inset, I think this is really cool. Just one word change, and it just changes totally the presentation of this uh, shadow. And now I have an inset um, box shadow, and I can have two. I can have a list of these uh, box shadows. So now I have both the inset and the outset. Show us uh, the, uh, the Apple uh, menu um, example. Yes. Apple has a menu on all their web pages. It looks pretty good. You know, you go to apple.com and you find this thing on top here. But if you look at the code behind it, it's an image. Yeah, so that's all built in images. It's all built as, as images. It's built as sprites, actually, that mm -hmm. they move around and stuff. But it's, there's an image. Um, it's, it's built upon an image. Um, then I can redo that in CSS3. And I can take away uh, all the images. There's no images in, the, in my alternative solution here. And you can see that it has, this version here has the same roundedness. It has the same subtle shadow effects underneath. It has the same rounded input fields. And it has the same 3D appearance of the, of the text. So by, by using CSS3, we can get rid of all not all the images on the web. We don't want to get rid of all the images on the web, but we can get rid of a significant number of images uh, on the web. And in many cases, in many designs, you will get rid of uh, all of them. So where can, where can people learn more about, about CSS and how can they get started um, if they want to start you know, writing CSS? Well, there's a bunch of good books coming out now about CSS3. If people want to be part of um, the discussion, you know, moving forward, what, what, what kind of features should we put in here? Um, then I think uh, the mailing list, style at w3.org, that's the place to be. That's where we discuss features and make sure that we, we describe them in, in the right way. It's a very active community uh, and we welcome new people there as well. Thank you so much for speaking.